Tim takes out a $35,000 loan at 7.1% per annum compounded monthly. He aims to pay it off with monthly payments of $410 over 10 years. What will be the amount of the final payment? At first glance, this is a bit of a strange question, because we already know that he's paying it off with monthly payments of $410. So what, it, what does it mean by what will be the amount of the final payment? Let's investigate. So using the finance solver, we know that there's an interest rate of 7.1%. It's a $35,000 loan. Tim is paying off $410. He wants to pay the whole thing off, and it's happening monthly. So how long should that take us? We know it should take us 10 years, so 10 times 12 is 120 we get 119.23 approximately. So what that tells us is that it takes a little bit less than 120 payments for Tim to pay the whole thing off. Or another way of looking at it is that final payment, that last payment, he won't owe $410 still. He'll owe less money than that. So what Tim wants to do is he needs to figure out how much is he going to owe in that final payment. So in order to do that, we need to figure out, okay, well, we know that he's going to make as many payments of $410 as possible, which is 119. So all but the last one are going to be that predictable regular amount of $410. If he makes all of those payments, then after that, Tim will still owe approximately $93.71. So at first glance, we might say, okay, yeah, this is our final payment. But what we haven't considered here is that every month, Tim is charged interest. And that includes that final month. So he owes $93.71 plus whatever interest there is for that month and we need to calculate that manually. So I'm going to copy this number here, close up my finance solver, paste it in, and we know that one month of interest, or the amount that he'll owe after one month of interest, times one plus, well, it's 7.1 over 12, that's my monthly interest rate, over 100, press enter. So in that final payment, in that last month, Tim will still owe $94.26, which is considerably less than the $410 that he's paying the rest of the time.